must know these guitar chords, power chords, bar chords, the cage system, four types of triads, jazz chords, classical chords, and more. Good news, my free music theory email newsletter is now live, free tabs and tips delivered straight to your inbox. Now, if you wanna dive deeper into music theory and composition, check out my full music theory course below. And if you wanna reach the ultimate 9,000 level, sell your soul to me on Patreon for all my tabs and courses. You know, it's funny, but despite all my rage, I'm still just a shred in a cage. Now I'm talking about the cage system, C, A, G, E, and D chords. It's where most guitar players start their chordal journey. <laughs> Now don't get it twisted, these chords are the blueprint to unlock the guitar fretboard. Wanna be a sweet picking powerhouse? All of these sweep arpeggio patterns use the cage system. Before we go any further, we need to answer an important question. What is a chord? A chord is three or more notes played simultaneously, and I'm about ready to give you the formulas for the four types of triads. Make any major chord with the formula one, three, five. Here's what those numbers mean. We'll start on C, that's the one. The three means go up three notes in the musical alphabet, C, D, E, that's the three. The five means go up five notes in the musical alphabet starting on C. C, D, E, F, and G. So the one, three, five starting on C is C, E, and G. Mind blown. <laughs> Here's how the intervallic construction of the major chord works. You have the one, C, and then when we go to E, that's a major third. C to E is a major third, and that is two whole steps. Now from C to G, is three and a half steps, and that is a perfect fifth interval. Using this secret code, you can formulate a major chord starting on any note. Babes will love you forever, and the world is your oyster. Ah, oh, major chords are so boring. So let's learn the minor triad. One flat three five, or C, E flat, and G. Now you can make her cry. <laughs> Next is the scary augmented triad, or one, three, sharp five. The notes are C, E, and G sharp. You catch this sound in horror films. It is imperative that we mention Lord Ingva J. Malmsteen's favorite chord, the diminished triad, or one, flat three, flat five. The notes are C, E flat and G flat. I don't like donuts. <laughs> 69 Trill goes to whoever can solve my C word shirt quiz. Name that song using contrary motion. Here's a hint. <sighs> I don't think you're gonna escape without passing the bar exam. Bar chords are so much pain for the fingers but more than worth it in usability. Start with a C major A form on the third fret of the A string. This is where that cage system comes into play. Make it minor by flattening the third. I'm gonna flatten your soul if you don't learn these chords. Next, swing on over to the eighth fret of the low E string and play the C major chord based on the E form. Flatten the third and you have a C minor E form bar chord. Now this is crazy. Did you know every musical style has a chord progression? If God forbid you wanna play pop music, the formula is one, four, and five, or A, D, and E. Here's what the numbers mean, same as before. The one is our starting point, we'll say that's A major. Now four 
we move up four notes in the musical alphabet. A, B, C, D is the four, and A, B, C, D, E is the five. <laughs> Shred, all these numbers are confusing my brain. Listen, if you can memorize 69, 420, and triple six, you can do this. <laughs> Classic rock formula is one flat seven four, or A, G, and D. Listen to Boston's More Than a Feeling if you want to hear this in action. Metal music is all about power chords or root fifth octave shapes. They're like a simplified version of the bar chord. Gods of British metal, Iron Maiden popularized the 176 power chord progression or A minor G F. <laughs> Classical kings use the harmonic minor chord progression 1, 4, and 5, or A minor, D minor, and E. Make Mozart proud with the C word, k k counterpoint. <laughs> Another killer classical progression is the Andalusian cadence used by Lord Bach in his Toccata in Fug in D minor, the saddest of all keys. Jazz giants note it's all about the 2 5 1 chord progression or A minor 7, D7, and G major 7. Hear this formula in action in the classic Autumn Leaves Jazz Standard. I don't have any autumn leaves, but here's some summer leaves. <laughs> I'm the funniest man alive. You're going to want to seize the opportunity to sign up for my free music theory email newsletter with free tabs and tips. Become a music theory and composition lord with my full course below in the description. And if you want to reach your full potential and unlock the power of the ideas trapped inside your mind, sign up to my Patreon page. All tabs, courses, you can even make reaction video requests. Now that you're a chordal king, it's time to use your harmony habit to make a sonic dent in the universe. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs>